When your parents hear that you are studying STEAM in school, they probably think it's some sort of experiment with a tea kettle. Well, it can be, but it can be many other things. That's because STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So STEAM isn't one thing, it's many things. Many things that are related to everyday life. Take your phone, for example. Technology makes it work. There's a lot of thought in the design, too. And more thought about the design of the graphics and the animation that you see on your phone screen. That's STEAM. And STEAM-based jobs are growing faster than any other category. Rather than talk about jobs of the future, let's learn about some with these middle school students. We had about 12,000 middle school eighth graders at the racetrack coming to learn about career opportunities. Chamber RBA made it possible by bringing all these vendors together. And for the vendors, it's a great opportunity because every school division is looking for the same thing. So this puts it all under one roof in one place at one time. So it's, it accomplishes multiple goals. And uh, during that time, we had 12,000 kids come through this bus learning about career opportunities. So it was a lot of kids in a short period of time, but it was a lot of fun. It is a shoulder. Good job. And watch the chest rise and fall. From health and medical to your traditional trades, we're all represented. So kids have got to get a great exposure of different career choices as they start to make those decisions. I think compared to last year, a lot of the presenters that came back realized that they have to be interactive. I think originally they were thinking about it how you would interact with an adult. And then they said, wow, eighth graders, you've got to really have something to grab their attention. So it was almost, in a sense, like a competition from vendor to vendor or business to business, where are the kids going to be the most interested. So you saw a lot of really neat attention grabbers for young people. So often we're asking students at the eighth grade level to decide, do I want to be an engineer or do I want to be a doctor? And they don't really have that exposure and know what those different career fields might involve. And the timing of this is perfect because the students are starting to sign up for specialist centering classes for high school. Now, how many of them will end up following that dream? You know, the, the fact that the exposure's there and you start the dream, then, it, then it's up to us as educators to help them make that dream become a reality. A lot of those students may not have seen the career they want to go into, but the experience of an event like that will get them thinking. And thinking, that's a good thing. Let's meet some students who share a dream about working in the music industry. What does that have to do with STEAM? Plenty. You never met a more sinister menace to quick finish the spinach, a credit debit, expenditure, debit, debit, the the currency, queen currently, Germany, sing burgundy after the non melanated, went on to kill a turkey. All my checks don't go to Nikes, but I just do it. I flip my checks. For if the you don't see that education is changing, then you're not looking hard enough. And thankfully, we're in a school system that sees the value in transforming what we do. Uh, one of those key areas that we're focusing on is STEM and STEAM. Um, what kids don't realize is that that whole music production, wanting to be involved with the behind the scenes, is definitely a STEM and STEAM career. So we thought that that would be a great topic to have the kids so, learn about. Today, we're going to use hip hop and we're going to use this article that we read so that we could do two things so that we can learn why STEM is These are guys that have run a successful program in Baltimore for about 10 years now. Uh, the Media Rhythm Institute, or MRI programs for short, uh, what they do is they connect literacy and STEAM through music and music production. So this beat was made by an eighth grader. And so kids read an article about STEAM, uh, and then they basically went through and structured some rhymes, structured some lines, and then made a song about it. Write that down. The second word I'm going to say is occupation, okay? Any thoughts you have, any feelings you got, 
Let it make the paper. Oh, turn me up, bro. Turn me up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't had no choice for then me and my brothers was struggling. Nah, yeah, you, nah, you good though. So we ended up with a, a local legend uh, from Richmond, Virginia, a guy that's produced for Beyonce, a guy that's produced for Drake, and he came in and did everything, set everything up for the kids, and then kind of got coached up from, from both uh, Michael and um, Dev Rock, the other guy that was leading the session. Show them that I'm motivated, hug like a car, tell them that I'm educated. Y'all like that flow. Life is hard, so you gotta take it face to pavement. Okay, I like how you slow walk me into that shorty. Give me some. One day you'll be famous, just be patient. If we can tap into something that the kids are truly invested in, truly love doing and being a part of, and at the same time teach them valuable things like literacy, like public speaking, like production, um, it's a win-win. So we, we have to be intentional about creating new opportunities like that. One more time. One day you will make it, just don't pray and wait it. Stay motivated, stay dedicated, go get it, don't quit it, stay committed. One day you'll be famous, just be patient. I'm Korea and I'm with it. I'm going to teach y'all how to go get it. Stay focused and committed. STEM education is the mission. STEM is motivation all time. Got to stop. Got to get the education. Trying to make my mama proud. Show them that I'm motivated. Hug her like a cloud. Tell them that I'm educated. Young uh -huh. dude from Bad News, Virginia. Ain't had no choice for dinner. Me and my brothers was really struggling. Wasn't no food in the kitchen. So the STEM job is the mission. Getting paid when occupation is something to cherish. Because without education, we could all perish. Hip hop down at Hungry Creek. Stand for stability. His jobs are here for you and me. STEM is opportunities. They use the term STEM in the class and in their songs. STEM is STEAM without the art. STEAM would probably be more accurate. Those students wrote and produced a song all in one class period. It involved creativity and technology. See, learning can be a lot of fun. Let's see some more fun learning. This one involves a very unique classroom, the James River. These islands are kind of right where land and water start to overlap, sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's wet. It results in this incredibly awesome ecosystem that we're in right now. Highland Springs High School for the past couple years has done a program with the James River Association where we go canoeing and we learn about the watersheds, we learn about tides, we learn about the abiotic and biotic factors, and we also get an opportunity to do some water quality testing. Hold that into the sample cup. And there you go, pull it up. Let that bubble travel up and down and mix it. Flip it. Let that bubble mix it. Flip it again. What do you see? What do you observe? It's blue. blue. The question is, can you have too much dissolved oxygen? Um, for our purposes, no. But if you go up north, sometimes if you have a lake that's frozen but there's no snow on top, that ice um, allows light to shine through so stuff can photosynthesize and produce oxygen. And then you end up with fish kills caused by too much oxygen rather than 99% of the time, too little oxygen. So it's a great opportunity for our guys. I'd say at least over half of our guys have never been canoeing, never even been on a boat. And for them to have this opportunity is just an awesome experience. Today was two field trips, one with Greenwood Elementary School and Highland Springs High School. And both trips were funded with $1,000 grants from Kids to Park. So today, guys, we're going to be doing a student-led science curriculum lesson. Yep. So you guys are welcome to go ahead and touch them on the back. Yep. It's like slimy. Yeah, isn't he slimy? That's a protective coating. I learned about the American eels, that they're very common around here. I thought 
they, um, and I also learned that they migrate to the Caribbean Sea, and then they just come back after they lay their eggs, the babies just come back at the exact same place. There's five stations, okay? Station number one is at the picnic table. Do you see that aquarium there? There's something in there that's native to the James River that you're gonna learn about. It's really smooth. Wait, is this, it might be a tadpole. My favorite was the tadpoles. You can put them right here. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think he is? A uh, salamander. Okay, and Don't you have to what do you away? notice about him? Yeah, she's, he's okay. Put a little bit of water on him. Go ahead, you wanna touch him? So what do you, what's your questions? Can you read your first question out? He's spotted. He's spotted, I like that. So what do you think he eats? That's number one. Uh, seafood. My favorite one was probably the newts. I've kinda, I think they're like lizards, which I've always wanted a lizard. What do we call animals that eat plants? What do you think he likes to eat? Um, I'm thinking small like insects. Small, like, little, like, small insects. I think flies. No little nuts. Or insects. really small, small and baby fish. Okay, write it down. At the James River Association, we really try to introduce that term about being advocates of the river, you know, being supporters of the river and understanding the natural resources that, you know, all, the James River provides all the water for Henrico County and the, and the city of Richmond. And, you know, that water resource is super important. Hey, right, you want to sprinkle some dirt on the side of our mountain? Where else might we have a lot of bare dirt washing into the river? We went over um, landscapes and, um, the James River. The farmland goes right up next to the river, so there's no barrier. All right, so add some more dirt to our farm field. If it rains, we'll see if that dirt will stay on the land or not. We were seeing how runoff and erosion affects the James River, or how it empties into the polluted river. OK, I don't have the leaf near it. Yeah, one's brown and the rest are green. What do you think the green represents? Grass. And when do we have a, like a build a house site where there's no grass or it's all dirt? You got a guess? Yeah, it's a construction site. All right, put some dirt on our construction site. The gray, you guys, is a huge watershed. It's actually the largest watershed on the East Coast. It's called the Chesapeake Bay Watershed. Another station with Greenwood Elementary School was to just understand the, what a watershed is and how watersheds are you know, vital in understanding how everything is connected within the Chesapeake Bay. We are People ride yellow jeeps. Potomac, Rappahannock, York, and James. All the states write P-R-Y-J, rivers flow to the bay. That's Potomac, Rappahannock, York, and James. Give them a round of applause. What was our time for? Good job. That hands-on learning isn't just fun, it's memorable. It's what we call an authentic STEAM experience. And those type of experiences are occurring all over Henrico County. Now we'll head back to the classroom for some DMOD. That's digital media, art, and design. I would navigate it up. Right now they're working in Tinkercad and they're making little characters and creatures that we're working with branding. We're going to be working with Makey Makey and Scratch once they are 3D printed and they're going to have slogans and catchphrases. So we talked about like the marketing of toys and animated animals. And that's what's really nice about this project is that with the 3D printing it's something they could apply into other areas even when they graduate. Everything is original. We talk a lot about copyright in my class. They can look at original objects and use that as an idea, but everything has to be brand new. But it's not perfect. Make sure you can see the edge. They're video gaming. They're going to create digital games in the software um, Yo-Yo Game Maker. They have to design a player, a boss, avoids collectibles, this whole game world. And we look at both coding and some drag and drop options for them. Okay. They always design on paper first, just to get their planning stages out. And then once they design on paper, um, they'll design their characters and all of the levels in Game Maker. If you can't do it on paper, you can't do it on a screen either. So we spend a lot of time figure drawing, talking about elements, talking about principles, looking at still life drawing for depth and space and overlapping, and they have to apply all those principles to their digital artwork. And they're working in pairs. 
it just makes the gameplay go by a little bit faster. That way you don't have to be great at coding or great at visuals. You've got a, a buddy. Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, they're the same programs professionals are using at advertising agencies and design firms, and they're being taught to students right now. Well, that's it for now. I hope I've given you some understanding on what STEAM is like here in Henrico County Schools and how students are actively involved in their own learning. Many of the jobs of the future will require STEAM skills, so get life ready by being STEAM ready.